Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Traveling this Thanksgiving? If so, expect a lot of company. In fact, industry experts say airline travel is on track to be the highest since World War II. So be ready for anything. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with important information to get you from point A to point B without breaking a sweat. It's all about being early, prepared, and patient, and knowing which airport to fly out of. Airline travel is taking off. 24 million people are expected to fly in the 12-day holiday period starting November 19th, a 3.5% increase since a year ago. But those of you flying, be prepared to pay more and squeeze onto planes. We're finding that seats are in big demand, and there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of pushing and shoving to get, uh, to get a, a good airplane seat this year. Travel experts say this travel season will be testing a lot of nerves, so be ready. This year, try to get there even a half hour earlier than the standard time of two hours. Also, know what you need to pack and confirm your flight. Some of the airlines, we know that if you check in early enough, you can get into a better group to get onto the plane. If you haven't booked your flight yet for the Thanksgiving holiday season, you are really out of luck. All of those cheap seats, for the most part, are gone, so expect to pay at least $60 more for a round-trip ticket. If you're planning to fly out of Logan, it will be the nation's third busiest airport during Thanksgiving week. Only O'Hare and LAX will be more packed. TF Green is expected to be the least busiest airport. And if you are flying, especially with kids, it wouldn't hurt to go over the security procedures with them also. Instead of wearing sneakers through security, wear shoes you can slip on and off fast. Check out more tips and travel information on our website at WPRI.com and click on Call 12 for Action. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850, or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. More consumer